Hello, this is H.J. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! Since last time, I walked all the way through the Mist Cave again, and, well, made it back to Mist, because there's some pretty good stuff that we can get here, so let's check it out! I'm guessing this is Rydia's house. They don't specifically say so, but because of the equipment we find here, I'm gonna guess it is. So, but there we get the uh, gold hairpin, which protects against lightning elemental attacks, so that'll be pretty nice. And the Polymorph Rod. Alright. And the Polymorph Rod also boosts your intellect there. So, anyway, the thing with the gold hairpin is that only females can equip it. And, well, we only have one right now, so let's give it to Porum there. But I'd hold on to the Wizard's Hat for later, too. Uh, also, gold hairpin no longer boosts your intellect at all for some reason. So, there you go. But anyway, with the Polymorph Rod there, I do want to give that to Palum there. So, yeah, that'll help boost his intellect there. You could give it to Tella, but he already has pretty good intellect, unlike the 2D versions of the game. So that's why I'm uh, leaving him alone there. Uh, also, uh, I looked into the spells that Tella has there. Uh, apparently, in the 3D versions of the game, the only... Er, er, well, yeah, he obviously is missing the same three spells as the 2D versions, but he's also missing stop this time around. Why, I don't know, because break is pretty much better than it in almost every way for the early game, so... Oh, really? Huh. Well, try to keep that in mind. Take a look around. Of course, I don't have a summoner anymore to take care of that, but oh well. Nuts. I do like how they show the houses, like, a little charred and burned and everything. I mean, at least something. I mean, yeah, the whole village should probably be complete rubble, but at least they give us something this time around. Let's see. I'm looking for a secret passage. There we go. Yeah, we get some bomb fragments, but yeah, I'll hold on to them for later. I have a particular use for them. Oh, you're a summoner? I thought all of them were killed. Or maybe he just means we as in the village in general, but maybe not everyone's a summoner. I don't know. But anyway, we got an item shop here. Uh, oh, yeah, we got a whip, but no one can use it. Uh, Dancing Dagger is okay. If I were playing the 2D versions of the game, I would buy it, but not in this version. I don't think it's that good this time around. So, let's go over to the armor shop, which does have some things that I want. You want to get up to three bard's tunics. The nice thing about it is that they protect against silence, and that'll be really useful against one of the upcoming bosses here. So, okay, well, that's everything I can do here. So now I'm going to head back to Baron off screen, and I'll meet you there to make some more purchases. Okay, we're back at Baron, so let's take a look around. Uh-oh. I forget if I talked to these guys last time, so I'm just going to talk to them all real quick here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess I did talk to them. I remember now. Hmm. Okay. Well, anyway, now that we uh, got the key from Yang there, we can use it on the door here and get into the equipment shops now. Oh, hey, hey how's it going? I didn't give you any tents. Why are you a camping way? Well, uh, apparently, my source was correct, that you don't need to give him tents in order to proceed with the side quest. Well, that makes life a little easier. Good for you. Music way? Oh, jamming. Okay, sure, whatever works for you. Uh, no, I don't think so, but you can listen to various songs that you've uh, played or heard throughout the game, if you so choose, but... First things first, let's buy some new equipment. Normally, I would have done this before going to Mist, but I wanted to start the episode today at Mist to save time recording a trip on the way there to, as well that I would have had to edit out. So, okay, so we got Thunderclaw, Flame Claws, and hopefully, you've still got the Kempo Gi that we uh, had earlier with Yang there. 
to get to him. And I want to get those friends as well. So, okay, so let's take a look at our equipment here. Let's see, Poram has the gold hairpin and the Sage Surplice, so that's the most important stuff. Cecil has all his Paladin equipment. Got the Palymorph Rod, I'm Palim there now, but everything else there is the same. Let's see, I want Ice and Lightning Claws on Yang because of the enemies in the next dungeon we're going to go to, but you do want to hold on to the Flame Claws for later. I'm just not going to list it in the, list the Elemental Claws in the video description there. But I do want the Headband for a little boost there. And got that. I'm going to hold on to the Ruby Ring for later. And let's see. Okay, Kempo Gi, we're all set and ready to go. Let's see, there's a couple treasures back there that we can get through a secret passage. All right. There we go. Well, a little extra money if you're short for some reason, but I am not. Sorry, I haven't been uploading uh, as much lately, viewers. Just had a lot of... Uh, crap to deal with, but, uh, well, I'm back in action now. Thanks for the wait, viewers, and your support. Oh, yeah, did I talk to Rosa's mom? I don't think I did. Nuts. Do we have any character thoughts for that? No? Okay. Kind of surprised we don't, but, oh, well. Let's see if we can get more information on Sid. Oh, you know what? There was one other thing. We were trying to find a way to get into the uh, the underground waterway there. Hey, how's it going? No dancing? Oh man, we gotta uh, put a stop to that policy. Oh, well I got a key for that, so that's how you get in there. So let's just take the easy way out and in. The easy way. Oh yeah, by the way, let's uh, take a look at our augments here. I'm listing all the augments and equipment stuff in the video description, by the way. Uh, but yeah, uh, Poram, I'm pretty much just leaving the same. Doesn't really matter for her. Cecil, pretty much the same. Let's see, with Palum there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna... I, I put Break on him, as well as uh, Tella there, because there's a rare enemy, but it's pretty powerful. And it is susceptible to break. It basically one-shots them, so it's really nice there. Uh, let's see. Okay, so, yes, Yang, pretty much the same as before. Although I do want him on defend right now. I only put kick in auto battle while I was going through all those really cheap battles, so I didn't have to run away from them all and lose Gil. Uh, let's see. Okay, so for Tella... Oh, did I not equip the Thunder Rod on you? No, I didn't. Okay. Get the Thunder Rod on him. And then we want to bind that to an ability there. And one thing that I forgot about, uh, apparently in the DS version, you can use items, or weapon items, from the menu just like you did in the 2D versions of the game. I forgot about that. But apparently, for some reason, they removed it in the Android, or mobile versions, and the PC version. Hmm. Well, we're going to infiltrate them and check it out. But yeah, I forgot about that with the uh, item commands there. Let's save here before moving onward into the waterway there. I thought there was something else I was going to say about Oh, yeah. The thing is, though, I mean, yeah, it's kind of annoying that you can't automatically use it like that from the item menu. But really, by the time you have enough augments to care about wasting a slot on something like that, the weapon spells are pretty damn near useless. So it's like, why bother? But anyway, we could go down there. Oh, well, okay. I was going to say it's a secret passage, but now nah, it's kind of obvious on the map here. Oh, well. But yeah, we get a little extra money. Oh, yeah, and we do have some character, new character thoughts here. Hmm, I don't know. Oh, I suppose I could have shown it off, but oh well, whatever. Um, if you try to go f into the castle through the front gate, the guards just say uh, you, you can't get in. So, yeah, no point. Well, thank you, Yang. <laughs> well, let's... T oh, I didn't go over uh, forms. Shouldn't everyone, like, know about this or something? 
Well, fortunately, Baron's sea power is relatively weak, so surely this will be a relatively easy trip. Or not. Okay, so, what we want to do, get to Yang's turn, kick, um, let's have everyone defend. Except Yang, because he should, if not one-shot them, he should be able to, uh, get most of them. Okay, um, actually, you know what, let's have Tella do that, because he can do it for free! Not that MP is a problem, at all, but it's there. But yeah, there was the new enemy in the back there, Splasher. Basically, a more powerful killer fish there. So, yeah, nothing to worry about. Ooh, Suna. Nice. Sweet. But yeah, lots of new enemies in this one today, so we will check them all out. Keep an eye on the map completion there, as usual. Awesome. Can never have enough of those. And let's see... Yeah, these are new ones. Uh, Giga Skater. Basically, same thing as the alligators we met up with earlier in the game, except, uh, well, they're more powerful, pretty much. Uh, why don't you do a little healing? If you can get your spell in on time, or Tala can just finish him off. Oh, he's dead. Oh, well. But anyway, there we go. Let's see. Yeah, I want to heal up after that one. Awesome. Nice. Can never have enough ethers, even though they are part of the Too Good to Use Club. I wish they sold for some amount of money, like Final Fantasy VII. That was pretty useful there. Never had to actually use them. So. Oh, and if it isn't obvious, the Giga Skaters are weak to ice. But, I, I guess I didn't explicitly say that, but they are. So, there you go. That's what you want to use against them. Almost there. Sweet! Oh, and by the way, the Polymorph Rod, you can use that to cast Piggy on enemies. Uh, is that the end? Ah, okay, there we go. But, yeah, most enemies that you care about are immune to Piggy. Okay, now this part of the dungeon is a little different from the 2D versions. I mean, it's still mostly the same, but you gotta go through it a little differently. Um, where's that wall? Oh, there it is. Never mind. Should've just kept on walking right into the wall like a drunk. Oh, wow. Oh, and here we got, uh, another new enemy. I think that's Devil's Castanet. Yeah, basically, uh, more powerful versions of the previous ones. So, let's use that. Uh, let's see, use Blizzard on that one, Thunder Rod on one of the Devil's Castanets there. And you use Cure on everyone there. You could also have Quorum use Cry on the enemies to reduce their defense. And that way, uh, Yang's kick might deal a little more damage. But I prefer having Porum stick to healing. Not using the healing staff, because that takes too long. Come on, Yang! Damn it! What happened to all that speed, Yang? Oh, wow. Oh, by the way, one thing about uh, Yang's claws is that I believe they still work the same as the 2D versions of the game, where... Uh, his elements, or like equipping two Ice Claws, would not be any better than equipping one Ice Claw. So it's not like your attack is more Ice Elemental. No, no, it doesn't work that way. Let's see, okay, go over here. So yeah, since pretty much almost everything here is weak to Ice or Thunder, you might as well just equip one of each. Now one thing about this part, yeah, you can't go to the right anymore to get to the next part. I don't know why they did that, but it's there. Um, yeah, we gotta go here. There we go. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, though, is that since we pretty much have to go back to the beginning, I know what you're thinking, viewers. H.C. Bailey, why don't you just use the warp spell to go back? But remember, in the 3D versions of the game, Warp takes you to the beginning of the previous floor, not this, not the end of the previous floor. 
So, yeah, it'd take you back to the beginning of the dungeon, practically. Now, there is one more new enemy that I'd like to meet up with around here. And if I can't find it soon, well, I'll find it off screen and then show you. Uh, okay, so far so good. Hermes Sandals, you want to hold on to those for later. I like saving those for Yang, so that way he can use uh, his focus ability more rapidly. And Haste is a pretty expensive spell to cast, the old-fashioned way. Uh, game? There we go. Okay, so far so good. Let's clear the bottom here. Okay, well, if I don't run into the enemy I'm looking for next, then I'll find it soon. But I should at least complete the mini, the mini map, at least. Awesome. And let's see if I can find it. I can't meet up with it on future floors, I don't think. Okay, there they are. Electrofish. Now, the thing with those guys is, well, oh, crap, I gotta switch rows. Maps. Uh, why don't you brace for a little while while I'm thinking about what I want to do. Okay, yeah, the thing with the Electrofish is that they absorb uh, lightning attacks. So that's something you want to be careful for. Let's see how Bio works on them. Uh, okay, good enough. Yeah, I thought that was going to be a little close, but we got it. So yeah, Bio, pretty much the way to go. Just have Tella do that, and you got him. But yeah, um, there's two more floors to this place that are real small. But, yeah, I don't think you can meet up with them there, because I don't think there's any more water there. Huh. I never thought about that. I just thought about that just now. But you can meet up with other fish-type enemies on the next floor that has no water anyway. Hmm. Well, whatever. But anyway, yeah, something to watch out for with that. So, let's head on to the next floor, then. Let's see. Um, we have the left. I don't think there's a secret passage to the left there, like the 2D versions. Well, if there is, whatever, I'm a liar. But I do have new enemies here. Okay, so, uh, you know what? Let's use, uh, Pry. Then have Yang kick, and everyone defend. There we go. That'll help out a little bit. And why don't you use Blizzard on the Gator, because they got pretty good... Uh, defense there. See, I think... Oh. Nice. I think Hydras are weak to Thunder, if, I'm, if I recall correctly. Well, I suppose I'll find out in just a moment. I don't think they were weak to anything in the 2D versions, so... Uh, so, yeah, it was Thunder. Okay. Yeah, the Gators are the only ones weak to Ice! So that's why I uh, was thinking about that. Okay, let's see. Head on over here. Haha! -ha! All right. Nice. Well, let's see. There's only one more new enemy around here, and it's pretty rare. So, chances are I'm probably going to save that for next time. Oh, wow. But if you do meet up with it, it's really big. You'll know it when you see it. Just cast a break on it. That's pretty much the rule of thumb with, rule of thumb with any sufficiently big enemy. Cast a break on it. Or stop later on, but... Right now, we don't need to use that. Okay, so, we made it to the save point room here. Awesome, and what do we get? Ooh, a new sword. Is it any better in the 3D versions of the game? No! It still sucks, and only exists to sell. Although, actually, it can be useful coming up here. So, I guess it's a little useful. Not that great, though, but... Yeah, I'm not going to hold on to it for very long, but if you know of a great use for it, let me know. I don't know of a great use for it, but oh well. Okay, here's the enemy I was looking for. The Flood Worm. I decided to, uh, or we could get killed by that. Um, hmm. Okay, we can do this the hard way. That, that's fine. We, we can do that. Uh, let's see. Let's start with the Bronze Hourglass there. Well, that didn't start so well. Okay, let's, uh, let's see. Let's revive Tella, at least. 
Hopefully the Flood Worm will stay dead long enough. And I'd like to at least revive Yang, too. So let's do that. Let's revive Yang there. And then cast Break on him. There we go. Whoops. <laughs> Holy cow, that didn't start out well. So get that guy. There we go. Yeah, he has like thousands of HP. So yeah, trying to kill him normally? No. Not happening with that instant death tsunami. Holy cow. Fortunately, the uh, luminous shield that Cecil equips has protection from instant death. So that's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, why don't you revive someone? Uh, can you even do it? Oh, well, we can revive her, and then have her revive Palum. There we go. Now, I could use a cottage or a tent, but I don't want to. Because, well, we're going to have a free healing point coming up ahead, so... Okay, now let's actually save here. But can we take back the castle from Golbez? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.